I basically have my nose there. Yeah, I'm calling it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I hand make scrunchies and bows and I've been doing so for nine and a half years now. In today's video, I'm going to be getting ready for market. I need to actually restock some stuff uh, like, oh my god, there is a massive spider up there. <laughs> I got the house sprayed and he said that there would probably be spiders coming out tonight. <laughs> right, we're not going to worry about that for now. Anyway, um, <laughs> I have to really do something about that spider because it's really scaring me. Oh, you, can't even see, uh, you can kind of see it. It's up there. That's the black thing. Oh my. That's the first like proper spider I've seen in this house. I knew there would be spiders because, you know, houses get spiders. That's why I got it sprayed because I'm like, mmm, no, don't like spiders. Okay, now that that problem is eradicated, ugh, <laughs> I absolutely hate spiders so much. Oh my god, if I see a huntsman, <laughs> oh, the house will be burnt down. <laughs> Mm, I haven't seen a huntsman in years, like since I left the farm. I'm like almost crying. I don't like spiders at all. Okay. <sighs> Got this just then actually. Not that it's really part of this video at all. So these are my new thank you and, well, thank you card and sticker. So pretty. So yeah, they're nice like little pastel -y colors for the scrunchies. So I have three markets this weekend. I have one tomorrow. So it's kind of like Thursday. So I have only one day to do market market stock. And then I'll do like market stock at night as well on the Friday and Saturday. But yeah, I got one tomorrow for the full day. Then I have one on Saturday and one on Sunday, which the Sunday one will probably be a big one, if I'll be honest. So I really need to have stock ready for that. So I've got Friday night and Saturday night to also do a bit of, you know, restocking. Let's hope. I think first I'm going to do the stuff that I needed to do in terms of getting stuff ready for the market that's not making. So I really need to restock bags, really need to restock even handle bags as well. Probably just need to, yeah, tidy some things up. But in saying that, I'll probably do that at the market tomorrow. So as long as the stuff is there, I can stamp there. I can sticker, like put stickers on it there. I can tidy up my bag there, so yeah, I'm I'm like thinking of ways that I can also use my time more efficiently tomorrow and the next day. Stuff like this, all the mini scrunchies, I can definitely thread tomorrow, and yeah, stuff yeah, just stuff like that. All right, so this is the fourth bedroom, which it's real dingy in here because we got a little spare bed, and. Then we have bags and stuff, but I don't want them bags. I want these bags probably over here. I haven't got a shelving unit in here yet, obviously. So yeah, just need some of those. Um, I need my cart, but I'll get that later when I go pack my car. Because I'll need it to, um, yeah, cart everything in tomorrow. I actually don't know where my uh, sandwich bags are, if I'll be honest, because I don't think they're here. So I got a bunch of sandwich bags. I bet you they're in the garage, and I don't want to go out there because it's cold. Hmm. I suppose I shouldn't really say garage. It's actually like a shed that's not like sealed properly, so it's a very cold shed. Oh wait, I have some in there. Okay. Well, that's all right. I just need bags then. Put these yeah so I got all this in like my little um well it's meant to be for clothes but yeah that's what that's for now this is currently my other room I was gonna knock the wall down in between two rooms but decided not to 
Because now I get to use, like, you know, an extra wall for stuff. And it just, I don't know, it worked out better. So, and also I get these massive windows for light, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done much in here, if I'll be honest. I do need to go through those bags, though, those plastic ones, because they got hair claws in them. Also, probably be a smart idea to have a look through these. These are actually for online orders, but I might be able to look through them and grab some scrunchies out of there because I reckon yeah it's gonna be tight this weekend to get everything done so I have started making a couple piles of fabric to like make up but I'm sort of I don't know I don't know what to I don't really know what to make like I'm not even positive like what I have in stock and I mean it's just there I could grab a look but it's okay I need to make more anyway so I don't I don't know this is like the hardest choice, is actually like choosing what colours to do. Because I have to do so many different ones, like different sizes, I think of that too. And then that, I need to do like kid prints. Although I have some already cut, so I might have a look quickly at what I've got cut. And I have some that I prepared earlier that are almost done, so they're in here. And these are the ones I made last night, which I'm thinking I might bring to the markets. It's just these ones. So these are the Japan fabrics. But these specific scrunchies, like, I don't know if I want to sell them for the price to sell them at markets. So my XL scrunchies, they do not move if I put them up for $22 at a market. They don't sell. So I found a sweet spot of where they actually sell and make money. But I tend not to bring the more expensive fabrics to markets because of that. So all these ones, they're kind of like, I don't know if I want to bring them because they are expensive fabrics. I don't know. And I've also not got much of it. Not got much of it. <laughs> I don't know. But they will sell straight away because look at the colors. They're so pretty. There's actually another one. There we go. Pistachio, periwinkle, yellow lime, butter, no, bubblegum, and arctic. Mm -mm. You know how hard it was to name these? Because I've already got heaps of satin on the website, so this was really hard. And I love this satin because it's like a thicker satin. Uh, much thicker than the satin that I use usually, so it, yeah, it's turned out really nice. But yeah, I've got heaps of this, so I think I might just bring this whole tub, even though they are for online... But, I don't know, markets, I think, are going to be really important this month because I've got so many. And I really needed to try and, like, ramp up as many sales as I can. Also, a bunch of tubes in the cupboard still, which I might go through. I don't know. Okay, so, in here, I have just bits and pieces, really. I haven't really sorted out any of these tubs yet. Not much, anyway. I'm sorry, I just saw one in here. So the thing with this tub here, it actually has pre-cut uh, scrunchies, which makes my life easier. These are XL scrunchies. I just, I don't know how they're going to sell because, I don't know. Some, some scrunchies, obviously, um, when I go through like these boxes, I pick out all the really nice looking colours first. So I don't really know what's left in here. But then again, I'm out of like everything. I've got only one tiny little tub left of XL scrunchies. So, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to get all these made up. Because I'm going to have to anyway because, yeah, this this month I have eight markets, which I don't even know how that's possible. This is The eight is like Christmas time. Like, Christmas time I usually do eight or actually I sometimes would usually do like I think the most I've ever done in a month is maybe 10 or 11, especially Christmas time. But yeah, that's still a lot to be doing in August of all months. There just happen to be a lot of like speciality ones on this month. So I've got um, the Moe B Earth, no, o Earth Day, Moe Earth Market or something. Um, so that's one that's not on usually. And then I've got... Um, the Winterfest this weekend and I've picked up two other markets for this weekend as well which I don't usually do but I've decided that you know what I'll do two more markets because I don't usually do markets on the first weekend 
I have heaps of markets on the third weekend and and second and fourth, but I never have markets on the first. So I found there was Morwell and Sale. They're both indoor ones like in the plazas like uh, the shopping centers i did more well once like oh three years ago maybe it was before xl scrunchies were a thing well for me anyway so i don't know how it's gonna go we'll we'll see because that back then i made 180 dollars for the whole day it was a very, very quiet day. But I have been talking to other people that have done this market. And, like, they keep going back. So, surely they're doing better than that. Because there is a $55 store fee, which is really expensive for, uh, yeah. yeah. When you when you pay $55, you'd want to make a bit more than 180 bucks. That's, yeah, for sure. But, I, honestly, I will be happy if I come home with, like, $400. Even though it is a full day of trading as well. Like, it's not like... A normal three or four hour market it's gonna be you know get there at eight o'clock and leave at like six maybe 5 30 so it is a full day so then again ugh, I don't even know if it's gonna be worth it doing it for such I don't know little money when I can be doing a lot more here so that's why I need to bring a lot of stuff to do while I'm there in case it is really quiet so it's not like I'm there wasting my time. I'm actually doing stuff while making money at the same time, even if it is only a couple hundred. And the sale one, uh, which is on Saturday, I actually didn't do too bad there last time. I did better at the sale indoor one than I do at my normal sale one. So if anything, if I am like super stressed out this month, the other sale one will be going because I just don't make like much money there especially because like I was gone for six months so now they've added other scrunchy people because it, it just happened like I'm still gonna not be around for a couple of months I think December I'm not gonna be around for because I have a concert and yeah I don't know it just always ends up I'm doing something on that third weekend like for example the uh when I moved the only day that everyone could help me out was that day <laughs> so I ended up having to cancel sale again I don't know I usually do this where I like get out so so much stuff and then I make none of it <laughs> like I'll make a tiny tiny portion that is, that is how I operate usually so I've like pretty much just shoved stuff in this box and I don't even know what's in here there we go got an XL all the fibers are going up my nose though I know I'm pretty low on patterns. Alright, this is the box that's super, super old and hasn't even got, like, properly flipped scrunchies in it. That's okay. Look, there's magpies. They're cute. I think I really need to make uh, bows and mini scrunchies because I've barely got any. But then again, I actually found a heap of mini scrunchies that were already pre-made uh, when I was unpacking, which was great. They were just, like, in a random tub from when I did one of these days where I'd, like, just make 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 <laughs> I'm like really really cold I don't know this house is just very cold <laughs> and I can't heat it up because it's so big this house right I mean I can try but it doesn't really get into this room the heater the split systems and doesn't have ducted heating so yeah currently just freezing my butt off but that's fine and I don't really want to put the split system on because it's Costing me $12 a day currently, which is way too much. It's like really expensive. I was talking to like most people and they pay like three or five dollars a day, especially with a split system because they're meant to be like really good on energy, like electricity. So I think I'll get solar panels eventually, but oh my god, I'm freezing. So yeah, if you see me in jackets and beanies and whatever, it's just because I'm trying to save money. And not freeze my butt off. Like, even when I was um, living at the other house, that was only... I think we paid $500 a quarter, which is still a lot of money for two people. But that was with the ducted systems going, like, all the time. Uh, oh, but to be fair, everything's electric here. We don't have... I don't have gas. They, they like, didn't connect gas to this house. 
which I thought was really weird, but that's okay. I'm just freezing. I'm fine.
Hey guys. Okay, I'm actually really, really tired. Um, it is past 11 o'clock and I have barely done anything today. I don't know. I just really haven't got much done at all. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to pack my car now. Uh, I had my mom over and then I had one of my, my best friend over, which I haven't seen in like two months because we've been so busy. Uh, so that was really nice. But yeah, now I really, really need to get my car packed and go to sleep because I ended up having a nap because I was so tired. This week has been like very full on, um, another full on week. So, and then like with the three markets, it is a lot. It's very taxing on the body. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very tired. Um, and I've been going to bed really, really late, like 2 a.m., getting up again at like 8 or 9, um, which I know is a lot of hours sleep, but I honestly need 8 hours at least, otherwise I can't function. I need a nap if I don't have 8 hours sleep. That's one thing I actually do for myself, working small business. I make sure I get enough sleep. If I don't get enough sleep, I can't function. If I can't function, I'm no use to anyone. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pack my car. You guys can come with me. I don't really... I don't really know what to do because it's a little bit harder now that I'm inside and outside. So I think, I don't know, I'll just open the door and we'll see how it goes. This will be my second time packing the car from inside, but it will be my first time packing the car from the second, well, the first bedroom, like closest to the door. Because that's why I put everything in that bedroom because I'm like, mm, it'd be easier for me. Honestly, I might even change this around so then this door can stay shut and like if I open this door it's all going to be on that side because currently oh it obviously shut it opens better than this but I currently have a box there um this is my space to get in and out which I guess is still enough but it's tight I don't even know if you guys can see there, there we go there's the door so that's my space I need to get um a proper door stop though because this door also likes to close by itself, which is just another fun thing about um, an old house, but that is okay. My brother's going to fix it for me. Um, yeah. He, it didn't actually close for a bit there, but um, he fixed that at least. Alright. So I somehow fit everything in here. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I might just line everything at the door and then move everything to my car so I don't let all the hot air out of the house because I've had the heater going. I actually don't need tables, but considering I'm going to be needing tables when on Sunday, I might as well just put them in now. I actually don't need tables either for... Oh, I need one table for the other one. Oh, so heavy. Another fun thing about my front door, it closes and when you close it, 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 oh, it locks just locks itself so I have locked myself out once and luckily I have my phone on me because I had to call my mum who had to drive a 40 minute round trip just to unlock my door um, and as you may have realized I didn't actually do any restock uh, I just really got most things ready for the restock but I feel like it's gonna be fine do you see that? Door just tried to attack me. Oh, I nearly tripped over a bag. Oh, I need that bag. Then, this is one chair. We're going to bring another one because I like to sit my stuff on a chair when I'm like threading elastic.
bringing oh, a bit of everything really. So I've already obviously got all of those in there, which I still need to flip and cut in half. And I have all these already done. So they can just go straight on top. The only thing is I won't have enough elastic, so I'm gonna have to cut some elastic. Because it's way easier to cut in bulk here than it is elsewhere. So that's one bag. I'm debating whether to bring the bow stuff. I don't know. It is a really long day. I feel like I will get everything I'm bringing done. So I probably should just bring the bow stuff so then I've got something to do. I'm just not expecting it to be busy at all. Like I I really don't think I'm gonna make much money. Also, check out my little can you see this? Maybe. I like set it up so I can just pull it. See, I would have flipped and cut everything, but I'm actually that exhausted right now that I I need to get to bed. Like I'm so tired. And I have to wake up early tomorrow. And it's already it'll be midnight before I get into into bed because I still have a shower. So yeah, it's just it's a big big day. And I actually haven't found my portable charger yet through the move because I haven't really unpacked much for my upstairs personal belongings. And I reckon it'll be in there somewhere. So I feel like I'm gonna need my perks um my charger tomorrow. Or at least bring it just in case. Okay, that's what I'm bringing to do. Honestly, I probably won't get it all done. Uh, as long as I get everything flipped, I guess, and at least, at least this bag done, I'll be happy. Because this one here at the top, that has bows and scrunchies in it, um, mini scrunchies. And the other one has normal, like the scrunchies that are already flipped and cut, um, the mini scrunchies, plus all my new scrunchies. So that, that one's like, the bottom tub's barely got anything in it um, that I actually have to do. So yeah, I don't know. As long as I get some of that done tomorrow, I'll be happy. I'm definitely going with the expectation though that I won't be getting much done. Um, uh, well, not all of it anyway. But I want to bring it, bring it just in case because last time I didn't bring enough and I was like so bored at the market because <laughs> it was like a really slow day and I'm just expecting a really really slow day tomorrow so we'll see what happens I'm just gonna leave them there I went and got my stamp as well which I need and yeah all right it's 11 45 I'm gonna bed I have not I'm not taking you guys to this market tomorrow I will probably take you to the Sunday one if you're lucky <laughs> but I have to change my memory card first but I'll talk to you guys after the market let you know how it goes and we'll try and get as much done tomorrow night as possible. Friday night. And then I've got the Saturday market, which I can do a lot more. And I need to try and get some Excels done. Because that's like really probably <laughs> what I need to do the most. And I've been working on everything else but the Excels. At least I got everything sewn today except the Excels. Win some, lose some. Anyway, talk to you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys, I'm back from the market. Uh, <laughs> it was really, really bad. It was so, so dead. But that's okay. It's fine. Like, I got so much done. So I was really impressed with myself. And everyone around me was very impressed with how quickly I was doing things. Um, and plus, I had a really good day just talking to people. Like, talking to this other store holders. It just gets me out of the house. I made $130 <laughs> and it cost me $55. So, yeah, it was actually worse than I did three years ago. And I thought that was bad. But it's okay. At least I made store fee and I made a little bit extra. So it's fine. And I got all this done. So I got... I'll show you. So I have two bags like this that are full of scrunchies that are all elasticated. So I flipped those and threaded them. And that wasn't meant to come out of the car. Whoopsie days. Oh well. Um, and then some... Then I got all these elasticated and then I have another box which has like um, more tubes in it I flipped all of those tubes for the minis I just haven't cut them because it was I did I ran out of elastic anyway and it's so much easier to just cut them on this also look I was one short out of that whole lot I was I was one length six inches short for elastic but that's fine so yeah I ran out and I didn't bring this one because I honestly did not think I'd need that much, but I did. So yeah, I'm going to go eat my burger. So if you don't know, I get a free burger every week because I want a competition. Thanks to you guys. Um, so I get my burger combo, actually. Not just a burger. I get my chips as well and a drink. And usually I'll only have half of each. Like I'll have half the chips and half the burger and then eat the rest the next day. So it's really two meals in one for me, which is great. So especially now that I have a mortgage, <laughs> anything helps. All right, I'm going to go eat this and try and warm up because it is freezing in here. And yeah, I need a nap. I don't know if I'll nap. I might nap, honestly. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I'll be honest. I'm really cold and just want to go to bed because I'm so tired. So I think what I'm going to do is just chuck these back in the car with these. And I'll just make bows and stuff tomorrow. Because I'm tired. I've had a really long day. And if you can't tell already, I probably won't be getting anything really ready for the markets. I'll try tomorrow night, but we'll see. Um, honestly, I don't know how Sunday's going to go. Like, I know tomorrow's not going to be busy. So, I'm not stressed. And with me adding those extra, that tub of scrunchies that I made... Uh, for the launch, like everything's very full anyway. There's the only things that really, really need restocking are like the bows, which I can do tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm calling it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys, I'm back from the market. I'm actually been back for a little while now. I've been picking up a coffee table for my house. Uh, well, my dad helped me do that. And I also picked up some other things, some essentials, some oil heaters. We'll see how they go and how much electricity they use. So yeah, now my room, my craft room is toasty warm because I've got one on. We'll just see how much electricity it uses. I don't know how, it's, how much it's gonna use, but honestly, I'm freezing and turning the split systems on seem to use a lot of power. This house is just loves to chew through it. I don't know what's going on. There's obviously some sort of something wrong with it <laughs> somewhere. So I've got electrician coming next weekend. But for now, um, cause yeah, I need to be warm. It's way too cold in here. So yeah, now I'm nice and toasty warm cause I got an oil heater. I just, yeah, it feels so much nicer in here already. And I've only had it on for like half an hour. <laughs> But yeah, I bought two because I'm going to put one upstairs in my bathroom because that's also very cold. Oh, freezing. Just everywhere it's so cold in this house. Just doesn't keep heat. I oh, know, maybe it's not insulated. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't build the house. Who knows? Anyway, the market today went really well. Uh, I had a regular, well, a customer at the start of the market that spent a heap of money. So I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then, yeah, from then it was like, I was selling quite a bit. I think the last time I did it, I made $383, I had a look. And I didn't sell for the first two hours, but I actually sold before I even opened this time. I had someone come up and purchase a claw clip, which she actually looked familiar. So I think she may have purchased a claw clip last time. And I definitely know the second person purchased from me last time that came um, just after nine. And then the third person, which was the um, person that purchased like 10 or 12 items or something, uh, they also, I know them, because um, she, she shops with me online. Uh, so yeah, it was really, really cool to see a lot of familiar faces. But I also met a lot of people that were brand new. As for stuff I got done, oh, I got heaps of bows done. I think I got about 45 bows made. So the deluxe size, so the big ones and the small mini ones. So I have heaps of mini bows now. I don't have any standard bows, so I may make some tonight, but it's also not really my priority. My priority tonight is going to be making XL scrunchies because, yeah, I had eight sold in that big transaction, and then I had probably five or six, maybe more, sold during the course of the day. Maybe more than that. So, yeah, I think, I think it was close to 15. Probably more. I don't know. But, yeah, it was, like, a lot. <laughs> There's a lot sold. So I need to make a couple more, especially if I want to bring my scrunchie board, which I really do because it, it does help sell the big scrunchies. Like it really puts them out there and it, it just looks so much nicer in my stall. And I really sort of wanted to make a couple of the thin elastics and wide elastics. Like I wanted to finish them. I wanted to finish some mini scrunchies because I'm a bit low on them in certain ones. So yeah, there's like so many things I still want to do and there's not many hours left in the day. It's already six o'clock. So I'll have at least like four hours, a good four hours that I can make. I still have to wash my hair tonight though. So also I got another bottle <laughs> because, <laughs> because downstairs is so far away from upstairs. <laughs> so I have a bottle for my bedside table. So for me when I'm in bed or like drinking at night and then I have one for downstairs. So obviously, like I have drank almost all this today. Not exactly accurate. Um, I, d I haven't really paid attention to these, if I'll be honest, for a while. But it does help me drink more water if I've got got it full and nearby. Because I have been a thirsty little munchkin lately. I don't know why. Oh, and of course, I had to stop in at Sale Spotlight. Like, there was no doubt about that. Well, actually, there was. I was not going to go. But then I called up and I was like, oh, what's, what's the dealio? What do you got? And they're like, you're a scrunchy girl, aren't ya? Yep, that's me. What have you got for me? So yeah, they had quite a bit on clearance, but I didn't actually like a lot of it. I only picked out a very small amount. And it was also like, it wasn't as cheap as it sometimes is. Sometimes it's like 50% off the marked price. So I tried to stay within the $6 a meter range because yeah, I wanted to save as much money as I could. So they came down to about $4.80 a meter. Uh, but yeah, so I got this one, which I've already had before, and 
that one's called Becca on the website. If it's still on, I can't remember if it's even on there, if I'll be honest. But uh, yeah, I already have a roll of that, um, like a big roll of it. But I thought I'd get some more because I just saw it sitting there and I was like, why not? I got this one. So this one's inside out currently, but it's got like butterflies and rainbows. So I thought that was fun. That's just a poplin one. This one, which is really pretty rayon. Got this one, which I actually think, yeah, I did. I purchased this whole bolt at Trelgan not long ago for $4 a meter. So this one came down to $380. No, yeah, no, $320. Quick math, yeah, $320 a meter. Um, and there was only like two meters on that. But I do have a whole bolt of it behind there. It's just so pretty. Pink fabric always sells. So, uh, like, I know I've got a lot of pink over here in my wall. But, and so it's purple also sells really well. But, like, the pink florals, I really don't have that much left of them. So, whenever I see something like that on clearance, I'm like, yeah. And I got some more Harriet, because that's been really popular online. So, a lot of the fabrics I did get were ones I already had in the past. Or, like, yeah, I was just restocking. But Harriet's been super popular, and I only had a tiny bit of it left when I put it up. Because it was meant to be for the limited release. But now that I've found it, more of it, I can put more up. So yeah, that was my little haul. Oh, sorry, I have one bolt as well, which was $47, I think. So I've already got a bolt of this, but you guys have loved this print so much. I was like, well, I might as well get another one <laughs> while it's there. Like, I still have quite a bit of it left, but it's been so popular. So I thought, why not? I will need to change this battery and this memory card very soon because this is beeping at me okay i haven't done anything except sit on this high heater and warm up it's so nice feels great i'm very very happy with my purchase and there's like this um like when dad came over he i asked him about the meter box i'm like do you know how to read a meter box and he's like not really and i was like great let's go have a look at it both of us and we'll grab a look so when I look at it, and that's when he figured out that it had an energy thing attached to it, like an energy reader. So I downloaded the app and connected it. And now I can see live updates, like how much energy I'm using. So yeah, this thing, this heater actually doesn't use that much energy or like power. So I'm like, thank God for that. <laughs> Good. I'm going to use this quite a bit, quite a bit. Especially the up, um, upstairs one too, especially when I'm having a shower and stuff. So yeah, I'm very keen. Like, this is great. I'm, I'm, I'm loving life right now. I've pretty much just been sitting on top of the heat because <laughs> it's so warm. Uh, I still have everything to do. So let's go, let's get started, I guess, because, yeah. I, I'm not going to get changed. I really should because I'm in jeans and that's not very comfy. I like to work in trackies and, like, a comfy set of tracksuits, but... Most of those are dirty or in the wash because I haven't done any washing. I've done like four loads since I moved in. So yeah, that's about it. I'll well, just take these off too because these are more for, ooh, these are more for um distance. I'll forget those tomorrow, watch me. Okay, so I still need to pack my car, but I'm not going to do that just yet because it's cold outside. It's going to get colder, but that's okay. I'm going to work. Because I need to get some stuff done. And I still don't know if I'm going to be taking my, like, scrunchie board yet. Because I don't, know, I, don't know. I don't have enough scrunchies to even put on there, to be honest. I'm just going to go through these bags. So this is one of the bags that I did. So there's that one. And then there's this one. These, these spotlight bags do come in handy, I will admit they're just not very good. They break easy. But yeah, that's something in there. I usually just fold them up and then I store them in this like little... You've probably seen it in some of my vlogs if you've paid attention, but... I have like this pink seat thing. Um, it's been with me for a while. Just got from camera. But it has a... It's like empty inside, so that's where I'm all my bags. It's just down here and it's what I hold... Um, it holds all my electronic stuff. That's where I sit everything. <laughs> I'm going to go through 
and I guess choose, I think I'm going to pick 20 out. And that way there's, you know, that's another $400 between them if they all sell. Five, ten. I mean, I could easily do so many more because these are all really good prints in here. But at least now I'll be like super prepared for all my markets this month. And I'll be honest, I don't really need a lot of scrunchies made up. After looking at how much stuff I actually have, it's really just the XLs I'm desperately low on. I'm just going to move these. And of course, they're the only ones that I actually didn't really focus on this time around. Barbie pink will be fun. So I'm just trying to choose colours that I think will sell. Look at that. I picked it out perfect. There's a lot of blues in here. Oh my god, I just dropped them. I will actually need to go to the car because, yes, I did do a lot of this stuff, but I have a whole bunch of like actual, like, um, tubes in the car for the, for the minis and I need to make some of those because I know they will sell like the rainbows and the pretty colors these are still going to be good so I'm still will choose a couple out of here but I really need to go get the other ones out of the car I'll make those oh I'm going to brave the cold and go get that box Okay, my goal tonight is to make at least 15, or hopefully 20. <laughs> my pile is way more than 20 already, oh my god. Okay. Let's, let's do it.
Okay, it is almost midnight, one minute till midnight, and I've just finished. I still need to go shower and pack the car. <sighs> but at least I got so much done. I feel very accomplished with what I got done. Um, I'm going to count how many XLs I made because I've made a heap. And I've got like a whole box of, almost a whole box of scrunchies here. So I made 20 thin, 20 wide, and maybe like 30 or 40 minis. Let me just count how many XLs. Huh, so I made 35 of those. Um, so that's really good considering I started from scratch for all of them. Um, okay, I'm going to go pack my car and get into bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.
really have to tell. <laughs> Pancakes? Oh, here we'll film this. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so the market went amazing. It was quite busy. It was freezing though. I was so cold. I don't know. I've just been really cold lately. I don't know. I don't know if it is the weather or if it's just me in general. I am always so cold. <laughs> Have I always been like this? I just I just feel like I've been really warm. Maybe it's because we're like really hitting winter. I don't know. I just, I just feel like, I've, like I haven't been this cold usually, but maybe it's just because I was living the high life in like, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I just, I haven't been this cold in a long time. But yeah, I was freezing at the market, but it was a good day. So I made 1,373 dollars, I think. Um, so that brings the total for the weekend, $2,000, which I'm super stoked about going straight towards my roof <laughs> so yeah thank you everyone that did come out and support me at the markets i'm so glad i made all those scrunchies i'm so glad i stayed up till midnight and was sewing because <laughs> yeah i sold heaps of excel scrunchies and heaps of regular size and also sold a whole box of hair claw clips so i have a lot to do this week coming uh to get ready for my other two markets I do have Neerham South, which won't be busy, so I'm not too stressed about that one. But Maui, it could be the same amount of busy as the one I just did today. So it really just depends. On the, depends on the weather because, yeah, the last one I did at Maui was, like, amazing. I think I made – I cleared over a 1,000. I think it was 1,100 that day. Uh, so, yeah, it would just be interesting to see how I go again, especially when it's in the middle of winter and – it's not Mother's Day because like last one it was Mother's Day. So a lot of people bring it out like their mums to just to, you know, hang out a nice day at the market. But yeah, all in all, I was really happy with this weekend. I'm really glad this like today pulled through though. So yeah, Friday was definitely worse than I expected. Saturday was better than I expected. And today was sort of on par. I was sort of thinking I'd be between the 1,000 to 1,500. So yeah, I was pretty on par with that one so it just goes to prove like you just never know what's gonna happen in a market <laughs> at all you don't just don't know and also fun fact I don't know there's not much more I can say right now I'm gonna go have a nice hot shower and wash my hair because I, I wanted to wash it last night but I was so tired I was couldn't bother. so I'm washing my hair because it's gross but I'll be back in here tomorrow morning because I want to actually clean up this room properly like tidy it uh, and put stuff away where it's meant to go and start on the other room. I do, <laughs> this week's going to be massive for me again because I've got so much to do. I need to try and get stock into that scrunchie wall before Christmas. Um, and when I say before Christmas, Christmas season starts for me in September. Like, I need to do it. August and September are going to be like, I need to get that wall full. I need to get chockers. So then I have an easy Christmas because that one year I didn't have stock uh, when I was selling those, like, you know, while well, selling online, selling at markets, and selling the gift, what are they called, the event advent calendars. Oh, you yeah, know. <laughs> so I definitely need to do that. And I am going to have, like, a big sale at the end of this month, I think, um, on stock, like, a, just a stock clear-out sale, because in the move, I found, like, tubs of scrunchies that I just I haven't sold. Like, they're just patterns that, you know, might appeal to some people, but... 
they're just not ones that really sell at the markets that often. So I'm going to go through all my market stock and update it and yeah, put a heap online to just clearance out and try and try and sell them out. And yeah, I found like a lot of other things that need to really just try and sell. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm going to go in. I hope you enjoyed this one and thank you very much for watching. Bye.